In this session, we will cover the calendar slice. The calendar slice is a feature in Pyramid that allows users to inject sophisticated daytime logic into their queries without having predefined daytime entities inside the data model. In most data models, the entities are predefined by the designers of the model. For example, the differentiation between days, weeks, months, quarters, and years might already be presented as attributes or columns from the underlying data source. Similarly, there might be hierarchies for date and time. However, there are many scenarios where there is only a date-time field that is coming from the original database that contains either pure dates or date and time values. By simply dragging and dropping this column into filters in Pyramid, we create a new calendar slice feature. The calendar slice presents dates to the user in a familiar calendar format, allowing them to pick a particular date or sequence of dates for analysis. Here, we're going to pick three dates and use them to filter the query. By the same token, the user can come along and pick an entire week of dates here by selecting week 3 from August 2019 or, for that matter, picking every Thursday in August 2019 using the same technique for picking elements from the hierarchy. A convenient feature, of course, is to be able to swipe between the months of the years or to use the hierarchical time picker to find the dates that you're interested in. For example, looking at 2018, looking at August and then picking August 8th and 15th will allow us to pick those two dates very conveniently using the hierarchical picker. The other aspect here is that we can choose to use a multi-select model or a single select model. This will then force us to only pick one date at a time when we drive the filtering function. On the side we can see granularity. This allows us to pick the dates using different grains of information. For example, maybe I only want to pick dates using months. Here we're going to look at June and August of 2018 and instantly we've picked all the dates in those two months. The same functionality allows us to focus on an entire quarter of data either from the sidebar using the month uh, granularity or in fact using one of the quarter grains on the side there where we can pick a quarter outright. Same two semesters or half years, weeks, and of course, very obviously, years themselves. When an element can be picked, it's light gray, and when it cannot be picked, it's dark gray based on the actual data sitting inside the database itself. Other shortcuts include being able to pick the first and last dates as found in the data source, and if available, the current date as well. If there is no current date because the data footprint does not match today's date, it automatically defaults to the last date in the system. The next feature is ranging. This allows us to pick a start and an end date and to choose all the elements in between them. It's therefore a dynamic range of dates. So for example, being able to pick from August 2017, the first, all the way through to June 14, 2019, we can get a range of all the dates in between those two points and select them very conveniently. And of course, this works with all the other switches, including the granularity, first, last, and current. Here, for example, we'll go from May 2017 to September 2019. In the last scenario, we're going to pick time using a formula. Here, for example, we're going to pick a date, September 15, 2017, and then choose all dates from the beginning of the year to that point in time, therefore year to date. And you can see how we functionally select those elements uh, accordingly. This works for week to date, month to date, quarter to date, and of course last. The last allows us to pick a fixed number of um, time points um, previous to the date that we've selected, in this case the 10 days ending September 15, 2017. The same technique can be applied to months, quarters, semesters, and of course years. The last aspect to consider are the advanced settings for the calendar slice. Here a user can redefine the definition of a year in the scenario that you want to create fiscal years, tax years, or even education years. Simply choosing what would represent the start month and start date for the year will recalibrate the entire interface.
By the same token, the user can also choose the start date for the week and also define which options will be available to end users as they use the slicer in production.